on your level. Meaning, um, well, maturity for one thing. Um, secondly, I think income is important. I mean, I, I, I know brothers are probably going to send out a lot of love letters. <laughs> but, I mean, honestly, if you're honest with yourself, um, if the woman is making more money, essentially that will chip away at your manhood. Now, you can write me letters and tell me how you are secure all you want, but, you know, when there's something that she wants that you cannot buy, and so she decides to go out and buy it for herself, um, it will Well, be I, you know, I can talk personally about that because I, I was in a relationship with a, a guy. <clears throat> So, dating someone on your level. Hmm. Okay. Well, one point I would have to agree with you is definitely maturity. But that's from your point of view. Not really what you probably want to say is definitely on your level. But if you want to go for a more normal kind of general consensus, which I think is what you're trying to accomplish, is that you want to date someone on your socioeconomic level. Meaning, like, I'll just give out my personal business. Um, I'm in the entertainment industry, electronic entertainment industry, and I make like 60 a year, 60K a year. My girl's an engineer. She makes 70. So there's a $10,000 difference between us, right? 60, 70, right? So she can go out, like you said, and buy something that's ten thousand dollars more than what I make and that it's gonna chip away at my manhood and I should just jump off a building now because we are not on the same level you know um, being on someone's level is not financial now I do agree with you because there's an old adage that actually says no romance without finance and that is true but when it comes to your level your socioeconomic level, social being things that you have in common, not completely materialistic. Once again, that's something that black women kind of focus on, or maybe it's just women in general, but, you know, it depends on the individual person. Once again, I know you're trying to get a general consensus on this. Going back to my point, for example, um, or should I say going by your example, I should date someone who makes less than me all the time so if I made 30 I should date a woman that is either making 30 or less than me because they're on my level so I can feel like a man de do you know what I mean and the opposite is that women always need to look for someone that makes more than them because heaven forbid I can't make every person on the planet happy let her you know she has to go out and buy something for herself to get that's going to chip away at my manhood you sound like you're speaking from personal experience you know the woman to your left uh, which I'm looking at the video so she's on my left uh, she seems to have a little bit more insight and kind of you know since she had a personal experience with it um, yes there are going to be good and bad stories of situations where there's a dramatic difference you know like if my girlfriend made 70 and I made half of that 40 yeah we're on completely different financial levels but here I can give you a quick example on how to date someone on your socioeconomic level because what you're saying is not inspirational and you didn't come up with different points on dating someone on your level so let's say a black woman owns a coffee shop a smooth sophisticated coffee shop you know a real nice you know like uh, coffee shop and that's her industry right she owns that right then you know she starts to date a black man who's a corporate executive her socioeconomic level and her interest could be food related you know dealing with coffee and stuff like that his is more business oriented even though and I haven't even put in money in that they're in c almost completely two different worlds could they match up probably it really depends on the people you know if she's really into just having her small little coffee shop and he's worried about big corporate you know uh, deals and traveling all across the world they're not gonna work out you know 
there's different types of people for different types of situations. Let's say you want to be uh, involved in the church or a missionary. They don't make a lot of money, but then, you know, you could also find somebody who is on your same level who will also understand that. You could find love, you can find happiness and things like that. You got to look past what society has is like just the business people, you know, and things like that. Because I deal with people who have hardly any money at all since I'm in the uh, entertainment industry. You know, at one moment, they were making $15 an hour. You know, six months later, they could be a millionaire from some small independent movie they made to, you know, some idea that's going to be made into you know, a book or something like that, you know, now, I mean, I'm not saying they make, you know, 30, 40 million, but they got two or three million in the bank from one idea, you know what I mean, so they just skyrocketed, so dating someone on your level, completely socioeconomic, um, I would say your advice is flawed, because you didn't give any kind of examples, and you're not also giving the spectrum as far as, like, dating someone on your level, you know, like I said, from your point of view, it's like if I make 30000 I got to date a woman who makes 20000 you know, all the time so I can feel good about myself, you know. And that's a recipe for disaster if it's just money and it's not going to eat me up. You know, she has to go out and buy something. Yes, you know, I said the example before. If she makes a lot more and I make a lot less, yes dramatically but you didn't even say that there were no examples there was there was no spectrum you know nothing like that <sighs> and just bad advice just just really bad advice you know hopefully your topics get better um, and they're more insightful and they kind of spread their wings a little bit more because level is just not financial and maturity it's the it's the things you have in common, it's faith, understanding, love, trust, you know, those kind of things. Do I trust you? Do I have faith in you? Do I believe in your dreams? Do we have the same kind of mindset? You know, someone who is into food, I mean, like the person who owns that coffee shop might fall in love with the dude who has, who wants to be a chef. You know what I mean? Like that, they're on the same level. They make maybe the same amount of money, but you see that would account more for any kind of money overall because she could be unhappy with some corporate executive but she might have more you know something in common with this guy who has his own business that's a chef anyway i just hope um that your topics become a little bit better all right i'm out